Maybe she should go and just exit so that way she can come to the toilet. Hey, I can hear you. Go ahead. Understood. We uh, might be, uh, uh, there'll be an interview with Mayor Bowser coming up on Fox. Uh, they'll be probably taking it live, and then afterwards we'll be doing a quick interview with Mayor Bowser. If it happens to be during our live shot, I'll just roll with the punches. Yeah, it'll either be live at 4 30 or uh, for 5. Mayor Bowser. They'll do Fox and then you'll do 9. <laughs> And then nine right here. Yeah, I got you. Thank you. <laughs> this side of me. Okay. Now, if we're not ready to go live, we can do it recorded, and then I'll just, uh... Hey, producer, can you hear me? Producer, can you hear me? Producer Ruth, can you hear me? I know. I'm just trying to get somebody. I'm trying to figure out exactly where we're going live because it depends on whether or not like, I take her live or if we go to tape. Uh, what time exactly am I live? Because I want to either A, take Mayor Bowser live if I need to hold her just for a few, like for a minute or two. If not, I'll have to put her to tape. Because I can, I can get her live, but I just need to know. What time exactly am I on TV? Hi, Mayor Bowser. We'll have you on this side where Susanna is. I need that answer now. Yeah, I know. I know. 432. Gonna break, okay. Gonna break you down. Okay. Yeah, there's a picture of you. I took it with my DSLR. <laughs> Are you in the parade? Okay, well, uh, we'll uh, can you either A, wait for three minutes so we can take it live, or would you rather uh, just do it right now? Depending I think on we can do it right now. Yeah. Okay, you got it. All right, rolling. Okay, uh, Madam Mayor, just tell me just emotionally, how do you feel about this day? Uh, I feel uh, very uh, grateful that we have a new president. We have a person who is decent, will bring dignity to the office, and represent all Americans. 
When you think about the COVID response before, whether it's every state for themselves, and now you have a federal plan, a federal government that actually wants to assist every state, uh, what does that mean as a difference in COVID response for D.C. in the future? Well, hopefully um, what it means is that we'll have a real sense of when vaccine will be available and it will be more quickly produced. Uh, we have a scarcity of vaccine and we know that when we have that, we have what it takes to get it deployed. We need more vaccine. D.C. as a 51st state, do you yes. see this administration as being able to take that ball forward in the Senate and being able to make D.C. a 51st state in this administration? I do. Um, we have a Democratic control of the House of Representatives, the Senate and the White House, and the leadership in all of those bodies has expressed support for D.C. statehood. Uh, and Joe Biden uh, is a long supporter of D.C. statehood. Considering that D.C. Metropolitan Police Department officers defended the Capitol on January 6th, what justice would you like to see done by the Senate, led by the president, to make sure that people held accountable for attacking D.C. Metropolitan Police officers on the 6th? Well, uh, you raise a good point because we were we had um, 58 officers injured. Um, you've heard from some of our officers, but people need to be held accountable for the felonious acts that they committed. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thank Madam you. Mayor. Thank you.